Hi everyone, welcome to this new part of the tutorial. The car is red, but don't worry, nothing changed other than that. We'll work on the rear end today. So going to the rear bumper, select those vertices, the ones that will create the bumper. So separate them into a new object using Shift D and then separate by selection. Then in edit mode, it's very similar to the front one. So we'll just select those vertices, extrude them, remove them from that shrink wrap group. Let me turn that on, I always forget. Selecting this new loop, we will just move it inward a tiny bit. Let me hide that, okay. So I will just straighten that area. Then in side view, select this loop and the select this one and move them on the y-axis and shade it smooth just like this and add a loop cut to tighten that corner let's remove the car paint material just to make sure that we have the correct one now I want to copy the license plate and bring it back to the rear Let's flip this over here. And we have a few options to place it. We can either put it over there or we can put it on the bumper and I, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just going to look much cleaner and fill up more space. Okay, let's scale it up a tiny bit and see how it looks because if you remember we scaled the front one down and that's why I deleted it because you don't want two license plates with different sizes, at least ideally. So I'll just tuck that in, doesn't really matter, you can just angle it if you feel like you will need that in your design. Let's add a vertice here by extruding, then extruding again on the x-axis, tighten that corner just like that to create a nice little housing for our plate. I will just slide this over here so it's wider, move that up. Extrude it down just like this here, move it back. Then selecting that vertex, I will just move it on the left and selecting those three, I will extrude them at an angle like here. So we can connect this pair of vertices easily. So tuck that in, selecting those two edges or four vertices, connect those together. You may need to recalculate the normals. And then selecting those four, I will extrude then scale them down to create a protective loop around this cavity. Press shift end to recalculate the normal. Loop cut here, loop cut there. You may need to tighten some areas. I will just shade that smooth before. And a loop cut here, just like that. In fact, let's add it over here. It may cause less problems. All right, let's do some adjustments on the design. Move that up. Selecting this loop, I will extrude it on the Y axis and select, setting my pivot to this one, I will make it flat. Let's now fill this area, just like here. Add loop cuts if needed, one at the top and a loop cut to tighten that corner. Let's place the license plate and see how it looks in cycles.
let me slide this here over there and we need to connect those together let's add a loop cut and move it down just like here connect those two together and add a loop cut in the middle a final loop cut In fact, let me just see how it looks before with a triangle and that looks clean. It's okay. Let's bring that back in a tiny bit. And tighten this. So it looks more natural. Let's now continue working on the rear bumper and we'll do something really similar to the front. So in edit mode, just we'll add a loop cut here, just like that, and we'll need to connect them together like this. Let's face this area like here. You may need to add loop cuts. If so, you can do it. No problem there. Let's slide this here and here and then select those two faces, separate them into a new object. Add loop cuts to tighten those area. Same for the main part of the bumper and we'll do something really similar to the front which is just fill this area with an hexagonal pattern grill so extrude it on the y-axis add loop cuts to tighten those corners we'll now add the hexagonal car grill you can just type pl or hexagonal and, I, and you should find it now i will need to import it into a new file if it if this happens to you but i think it was only a blender kit bug at the time but if it happens to you just open a new file then import the object and then copy it and return to the car just like here no need to save it and i'll paste this here okay now place it over the vent i don't know if you call that the vent it's not a it's not really used for that. So apply all the modifiers except the mirror and delete the solidify. Then add a boolean with intersect. And go into wireframe just to see if it worked. That should work for us. Just trying different things here see if it still works with the scaled down version it should be fine so i'll try to apply the boolean but if that didn't work for you just delete the excess just like that and we'll place this over here we may not even need a lattice since it's very flat in a small section We need to rotate this a tiny bit. Flip the normals if this happens to you. If you have like a chrome finish, you may also need to just remove the material. I think there's one that's chrome by default. Just like here, let me remove that. And delete. Those little excess. You can move manually parts, doesn't really matter honestly, since nobody will notice that. Now go back to the main part of the bumper. 
Then select that loop, extrude it back on the Y axis towards the front of the car. Then we will just face that area like here. We may need to add loop cuts so it fills correctly. And we got this pretty much done for the bumper. I'll just spin around and see if everything looks good to me. Alright, now let's add some uh, light for the license plate. So adding a loop cut here and another one there. Then we'll just split, inset this face, sorry, and press B so you don't have a, a joint in the middle. Then add loop cuts here and here. If your bumper has a more complex design, then I would suggest creating a base mesh like we did for the front bumper. But since mine is just super simple, I don't need any. So I'll just remove that. Like so. Delete that so we have a, a bump, so to speak, on the edges. Then I'll uncheck only rim, even though it will be barely visible, because this will be glass. So you can use just a regular glass, we can make a wavy glass. And honestly, it's just for that extra detail in case you do a close up of the rear license plate. Or you can even add lights through it to see if it looks good to you. But yeah, it's just a a tiny extra detail. Let's now make the tail lights, at least start to work on them. So in edit mode of this panel, I will select some faces. I will just slide this edge before to create the shape that I want. And then having those faces, I will inset them slightly and delete them just like that. Add a loop cut on the top one at the bottom, just like here. And we have the shape of our tail lights basically defined. Yours may need to be more complex or less complex depending on your design, but I would say this is a pretty simple one. All right, I can see the headlights fitting in here. So going back to edit mode, I will select this loop then duplicate it into a new object, separating by selection as always for the hundred time in this tutorial, then extrude it back towards the front of the car, remove it from the shrink wrapped parts and we'll just extrude and scale it down, move it here and then we can just extrude, scale it down again and fill it here. It really doesn't need to be complex. I know it's an end gone, but it won't matter. I mean, for the sake of the, of the tutorial, I guess we can remake it like more cleanly. So fill this area here, just like that. It's like those four vertices. And really this is just to go and do the extra mile. Because honestly, it would have looked the same because it's not visible. It's only used to block light, at least this part of the mesh. But if it was like the, the visible part of the tail light, then yes, it would have been needed to do proper quads and stuff like that. But yeah, just add some loop cuts here and remove all the vertices from the shrink wrapped part, just to be sure. Slide it here so it doesn't interfere with the uh, solidify parts. And I will add a chrome material for everything except the rim, which is black plastic. And just like that, we have our tail light cavity. Now let's add a brake light at the top, selecting our roof over here. 
Let's go into edit mode, add a loop cut here slightly at the bottom, then inset this face and press B so we don't have an edge in the middle. Delete that face and add a loop cut on the top and the bottom to tighten those corners, just like that. And we have a beautiful rectangle. Now selecting this loop, we'll extrude it backward. We'll then fill in this cavity over here. We will need to remove them from the shrink wrap group and separate it into a new object, just like here. Then you can even delete the group if you want. Add loop cuts over here and slide it back. Assign the black plastic or a chrome material. I will go for the chrome because it will give it give us some extra reflections in there. Then duplicate that rim to create the glass part. Now it can get a bit complex with the number of objects we have, but let's just fill that really quickly. Shade it smooth, don't forget to do that. And since it's so small, let's just not add any edge loops and keep those corners a bit uh, rounded off. Create a new glass. You can just reuse one and duplicate it and then give it a red color. Don't go full saturation. Just like here. And uncheck only rim just to be sure that it works properly. And there we go, we have our brake, brake lights, at least the housing of it. Let's now create the tailgate panel gap. So for this here, we will need to select those faces and then separate them. Make sure they align with um, the pillar that we added in the beginning on that rear window. So it makes kind of sense. So select those faces, then separate the selection. And you can see here that I aligned mine with it. I will now add a loop cut here and here, just to tighten that area. And let's make this a bit cleaner. So I will slide those vertices until they look good to me. Let's just do the top one to realign it a bit better. You can press G twice and then C to um, kind of slide them, but outside of your mesh. So G twice, then C. Then we'll do the same for the lower part of the tailgate. Select those faces, make sure they align with the top one. You can slide that loop cut before separating it, then unhide those faces and separate by selection like we did so many times before. Loop cut here, loop cut here, just like that. Now that's a nice extra detail. We just need to do this for the tail light later on and for this part here. Hide those faces, then select, unhide them, add loop cuts, and we're basically done with this. Now be careful for this one because we didn't create a base mesh for that rear window. But you should be fine if it's a simple design like this.